for cosine of 2x, we can use any one of our three equations. I'm going to go ahead and use, I'll use 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. It really doesn't matter which one you use. It's up to you. Or actually, I'll use the first one. We'll use cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Again, going up here, I know that my cosine is negative 2 over rad 5. We're going to square that. Minus 1 over rad 5 squared. I get 4 over 5 minus 1 over 5, which equals 3 fifths. There's my cosine double angle. Lastly, we're going to look at the tangent double angle. Now, this last one's up to you. You can either realize that tangent of 2x will equal sine of 2x divided by cosine of 2x. So we get, whoa, there we go. Negative 4 fifths divided by 3 fifths. Negative 4 fifths times 5 thirds, which equals negative 4 thirds. Or you can use the formula. We can see that tan of 2x equals 2 tan x all over 1 minus tan squared x. Our tangent value is negative 1 half. So we get 2 times 1 half, negative 1 half, all over 1 minus negative 1 half squared. We get negative 1 all over 1 plus 1 fourth. Or 1 minus 1 fourth. This gives us negative 1 all over 3 fourths, which is negative 1 times 4 thirds, which equals negative 4 thirds. Either way, you end up getting the exact same answer, negative 4 thirds for tangent of 2x. And those are your double angle formulas, both how to prove them and how to use them.